partial lowering of the engine on the Mercedes A-Class, W169. New special tools make engine work easier on gasoline and diesel cars. Set the lifting arms as far to the rear as possible. Otherwise you will have problems later accessing the wheel well. Note, mount the steering wheel immobilizer. In the course of work, the steering coupling will be detached from the gearing. For safety, remove the battery ground connection in the front passenger footwell. Raise the vehicle. Under the vehicle, prepare for engine lowering. Remove all the bumper fasteners. First the bolts. Then the expansion rivets. Unplug all electrical connections for example Parktronic. Note, on vehicles with air conditioning, detach the front underfloor paneling. Lower the vehicle lift. Remove the bumper. The radiator is normally only attached by means of various plastic parts and the engine holds it to the hybrid carrier, which is where it should stay. For the partial lowering operation, the radiator must be firmly fastened to the body left and right using this new special tool. Clear the engine compartment to allow for easy access to the steering coupling, steering line and the shift cable bracket, on automatic transmissions. During repair, lowering the engine improves access to items such as the starter, the oil filter housing or the belt tensioner. On diesels, also clear the engine compartment. Also note, detach the charge air hose here at clamp. Disengage the steering from the coupling. Pull off the bracket for automatic shift. Unclip the fuel and the purge line on the firewall side. Remove the coolant expansion reservoir. Raise the vehicle lift. Remove the pulley on the belt guard. Expose the wheel well on the left and the right side. Here you will see whether the vehicle lift arms were set far enough to the rear. Remove the exhaust clamp. Note, on diesels, take off the three rubber dampers on the exhaust suspension. One in the front and two in the rear area of the muffler. Detach the ground line and the battery wiring harness. If optional Xenon lights are installed, also pull off the sensor for the headlamp range adjustment. Note, on manual transmission vehicles detach the clutch operator line. The hydraulic lifting device will later be used to hold the engine in position and then to lower it. 
The required force comes from the compressed air network. Set the support fixture precisely onto the front axle carrier. The eight engine mounting bolts can now be removed without risk. The engine is supported by the lifting device. Now we will make use of the special tools that make the partial lowering possible. Replace the four mounting bolts with the four retaining bolts on the inside, two in the front and two in the rear. They alone will support the entire engine. The required steps have now been completed. The engine can now be lowered.